Good morning, everybody. Today we have a code for this round, which is unusually early. I think for United States is too early because as we can see, it's, uh, it's scheduled for 11 a.m. where I am and it's like five hours earlier than usual. So must be pretty terrible time for United States, but at the same time, it should be more suitable for like uh, China and Far East. So, and the reason is of course that this is a mirror of official contest. Well, almost a mirror, except one problem. Uh, so they do have to, they do need an overlap in Taiwan with official contest so that nobody can cheat neither. Uh, on-site participants can participate. Well, I don't think that on-site, yeah, but like it's rated for div 2 So on-site participants should not be able to participate in this round. And also uh, obviously on-site participants should not be able to gather any information from, from anyone else participating in the round. So logistics are a bit difficult here, but hopefully like, it does not affect us, apart from some people who unfortunately cannot uh, attend the contest with that time. But other than time, nothing should be unusual. We have five problems because like official round, official competition has four, and then one problem was added to make it a bit more balanced. Uh, so let's see. That's interesting. I mean, it was sent like literally. Okay, so problem A is three swimmers. Three swimmers decided to organize a party in the swimming pool. At noon, they started to swim from left side of the pool. It takes the first swimmer exactly A minutes to swim across the entire pool and come back. Exactly B minutes for a second. Okay, okay, okay. First swim will be on the left side of the pool and come back, okay. Came to the left side pool exactly a few minutes after they start swimming, which means how long you have to wait before one of the swimmers rise at the left side of the pool. Well, that's uh, okay. A little bit careful here. Because integers are long, long from the very beginning. Now, uh, and also I have several test cases. What if it's divisible already? And the answer is zero. Okay, I got you. Uh, Oh, like, okay. Well, Like it like that. Let me sync. And this is not correct. I 
two couple of zeros and ones, which is clearly not what we expected. Wait. Oh, okay, so. Just the different input order. Yeah, okay, I think I get to go. What? Wait, I, I got distracted and then, oh, of course, so stupid. Yeah, I don't know how this happens. It was just literally. Wait, what? It's okay. This problem is worth 500 points only. Just so stupid. Yeah, whatever. Problem B card deck, you have a deck of N cards and you would like to reorder it to a new one. Each card has a value between one and N equal to PI. All PI are previous distinct cards in the deck numbered from bottom to top here. Bottom to top, whatever, okay. Each step you pick integer K, greater than zero, take top K cards from the original deck and place them in the order there now on top of a new deck, okay. Order of a deck is at the lowest cards or most valuable, apparently. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not sure that I understand uh, exactly what operations we can perform. I'll have to read the samples. Oh, so I do have two decks at any moment in time, and I just place them, okay. And like clearly, because of what, uh, what happens, we want to maximize first element. So I simply go from right to left until we encounter the max element so far. Once we do, we output the segments and keep going from right to left. It sounds like literally like this. Okay.
Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm a bit lazy. Yeah, I'll, that's all. If PR is equal to S max. Then, then, yeah, like actually, like this. So you need to want to copy something like that. So from here to here, not inclusive, and then error gets L. Else, uh, let me see. No, actually, no matter what happens, S erase. Uh, can I erase a key? I'll just erase B L. Switch of one, five, so six, five, seven. Uh, I don't, I think we can do it like this. These are no long integers in this problem. Okay. Problem C maximum width. Uh, your classmate from you do not like because he's born. <laughs> but from your respect for his intellect, has two strings S offense N and T offense M. Okay. A sequence P1, P2, P M, where they are ascending from 1 to M is called beautiful if S P I equals T I for all I from. Uh, that's complicated. Okay. And with also sequence is the max step that you have to take. Uh, beautiful sequence with maximum widths. Interesting. It's not clear from the very beginning how to make, how to solve this problem. No, it is clear to many, many people, okay. Multiple test cases.
So we have actually once uh, we want we know that t is a subsequence of s. Now we want to figure out what is a subsequence with the largest step. I think it corresponds to finding like. Uh, Yeah, what if we just make one scan this time and then one scan this time? And what are what is the max? Yeah, okay. Uh, So if actually like this. If T I is equal to S J. No, not like that. While T I is not equal to S J plus plus J. And L I gets J. So one of them will be like L is the uh, shortest graphics that you need of S to have T up to some point as a subsequence. And other is just um, the other is max suffix. Or against, right? And we guarantee that all of these values computed will be fine. Uh, yeah, maximum. Well, initially, let's go with something like this. I'm thinking that something like this. Okay, 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 okay. Um, makes a lot of sense. Like we, we loop our, the last loop is loop our position in, in which the maximum step occurs. Wow, okay. Maybe we were not careful enough for some reason. Yeah, thinking in the morning is quite hard. Which is, wait, fifth test is like first after samples and we get to try and collide it. That's not good. So you see this max over i from one to m is exactly what we're taking here. Here we take like what can be the max step between suffix to i and prefix from suffix from i and prefix uh, up to i minus one.
Here's the idea to find short, uh, like, uh, smallest bracket that matches and smallest suffix. And I'm not sure that I understand why it does not work. Go from left to right. We also have position in S. Like whenever we encounter a match, so why don't, while we don't have a match, we command position in S. Once we have a match, we just write it in LI and go further. Oh, do I have to increment J as well? Because otherwise I'm using the same position twice. That was very inaccurate of me, I'm sorry. We'll make another test, which is like, Yeah, so the answer was four, which is clearly incorrect. And the actual answer should be three, I think. Yeah, okay. Very inaccurate, I must say. Yeah, a lot of people already saw that whatever. Let's take a look at problem D and genius gambits. Genius gambits. Genius gambit. Genius gambit. Okay. We're given three integers A, B, K, five to binary integers X and Y, X is at least Y. Plus X and Y consist of A zeros and B ones. X minus Y has exactly K ones. What? So You're not allowed to use leading zeros for x and y. And this is an unusual case. Check what is E. Almost full tolerant database. Start an array of lands M in a database to maintain inter internal integrity and protect data. The database stores and copies of this array. Fortunately, the recent incident may have altered the start information in every copy in the database. It is believed that the incident altered at most two elements on every copy. You need to recover the original array based on the current state of database. Now that actually is more interesting, but I think we should solve D first. So we do want uh, A zeros and B ones and first uh, letter, first digit is one. How does the difference works in binary? That's a kind of question I first think about. Uh, for example, four to three means four zeros to one. First one is already predetermined. 
Yeah, but then wait, that's simple, no? You have the same digit, nothing happens, nothing happens. X is at least Y, so the first. So we do have blocks which work like this. Uh, bus integers start with one. And the block is something like this. Like once you subtract, you're going to end up with all these ones. So if Lancel block is like L, then you end up with L minus one once. Then it doesn't really matter like what happens here. Even if here you have something like this, so inverted situation, does this one will work with this one? Then you have this one here. So you will end up with one, one, no, one with one, 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 zero, one, Zero one, let's say. Right, which is actually equivalent. So if you just uh, set this here and move this to across. Three to five is problematic because max answer that we can guarantee is k uh, is a minus one, I think. But I think. It is especially easy. I, I don't think I got it right. But no, k minus one is a lot, uh, a minus one is lots of ones. Then we want a plus one zeros. No, wait, we actually want like two ones, right? That's also a problem. Uh, or b is equal to one. Right here, here we can just place all our zeros. I think this structure will be faster. Here we do something like this. Land should be the length of the group should be k plus one. So we need k zero one. 
Number one, all, all are random zeros. I think something like this is supposed to work. This is like a bit strange construction. Sounds too easy, right? So something must be tricky about it. Uh, let's say a, a is, I don't know, 10, and B is 1, and C, K is 5. The answer should be no in this case. Like, I'm not sure about this condition. Maybe we can somehow get more, more ones in different than we have in number itself. But like, if we apply that kind of chaining argument, then we can just chain a bunch of groups together, no matter how they look. So, I'm not sure why this may be wrong. This may very well be wrong. Yeah, okay. And this is literally the first test case after, after samples. Uh, I'm afraid we, we made a stupid mistake. Like, what if we have this, this, but then this? Yeah, but the answer is clearly positive. And if k is zero, Wait, but what happened? For some reason we crashed. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, this is one. Okay. If K, I'm just simply do this. Yeah, of course, we can start a string called finds B minus two, and we don't want to what of B is equal to.
Well, we fixed at least one bug. I'm not saying that this is all bugs, but it may be. No, it's not. Okay. Do I really want to think about it? Fifty-two people solved to our decision, not hard. Now the question is whether I, if I have like one of the two, either I have some bugs or or I have some logic problems. It's not clear which one is, uh, is correct. I actually break this in parts. Where we can see it better. So suffix is identical and prefix creates uh, K ones here. Because if it's like two zeros, one and two zeros uh, are, let me even write it like this. Like this part and this part, they create K zeros. K ones, of course. Now the question when, when we may, how, how we may be wrong? We get wrong answers, so we do not crash because of vehicle one, which is already good. And this case is 100% correct. Case equal, okay, we want some non zero bits in the difference, but we uh, can't create them. So this is quite problematic. Uh, let me actually think. You all well, yes, suppose this are here and there are gone. So far, I see no way to get, uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Why do I have it like this? Let's check what the current output is for. Four, three, and four, I think. The answer is no, but what if I changed it to this and then recompile? What exactly is wrong? Line twenty some we say it's in front. Oh, because these are like temporary. Mm. 
I'm just checking that here. Well, yeah, that's like, I don't know why I decided that. The condition is like this because it works, right? And we subtract this from this again to end up with one, 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 one. It's exactly what we want. Well, okay. We still get a wrong answer, which means that we did not care because of anything like this or like this. And it means that in some cases, I'm assuming that in some cases we are, but now when the answer is yes, because like every construction that we have here and here, it's valid. It's, this construction produces k ones in place of these zeros. This construction produces zero, zero ones in the difference. So it looks like sometimes you can get more No, I don't believe in it. Like the only reason why this may be wrong is that I can see now is if we print no in case when answer actually exists. But it means that we can get more ones than we had zeros, which sounds strange. Wait, 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 I am stupid. I clearly am. All these ones, we can clearly place them like here and increase by B minus two, the answer at least.
sexual thing this through. I want one zero to go here. Then I want uh, um, what if we have Let me check my example. Uh, we had four, three, and then D7. Previous answer was no. Yeah, but now it crashes on the first test case. Yeah, I just want to if so if k is at most a, and this construction works, I think if k is smaller than a, this k is greater than a. There are no zeros for you here. So far, so good. Let's check if we can run into any issues. If A is equal to zero. If A is equal to zero. And we have five on this side. Three. Yeah, then it breaks now. Oh, because of course I did not check in part. Well, that sounds like an off case work, which maybe I'm still wrong. I think in this case, we at least I don't have. Yeah, we check explicitly that we have at least one zero. We don't have zeros. And k is greater than a. And that's what's for the moment. Well, obviously that many wrong answers is not good. Uh, let's keep going. I believe we are terribly bad in the standards because of wrong, uh, all wrong answers. 
the things run the answers, man. I don't can't remember the last time when I had that many wrong answers. This should be interesting. I think I'll actually make a short pause. We'll come back. 